Discuss master config chart of accounts worksheets, including standard NetSuite report structure. So today we are going to get right into it. This is going to get a little bit more complex. So I have gone and split this into a range of different videos. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos. Um, I initially made this and the video was 20 minutes and I realized it was too long. So I'm redoing it now. All right. So the first one we're going to look at is the different sheets I have explaining what I'm trying to explain. Here. So the standard um, statements in NetSuite look as follows, right? There's your profit and loss. You're going to have income, cost of sales, gross profit, then your expenses, right? So the way this is looks in NetSuite is exactly like you saw there in my spreadsheet. So this is the standard NetSuite. You can go and expand this one level, another level, right? So you have your normal parent child relationship structure. Okay. So what I have in here, you can see exactly reflects what you're going to see in next week. Um, exactly the same for the balance sheet. You've got your assets, current assets, fixed assets, current fixed. So you can see this exactly reflects what you have in NetSuite standard reporting. Now, of course, you can customize the standard reporting, but um, yes, I would say most people use the standard reporting. Very simple, that is set up, it's out of the box and it's ready to go. Okay, um, so I have a sheet here that helps you with mapping the account types and it gives you a numbering convention that you can change, right? So at the moment I've got a dash in here, previously I had a couple more zeros. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but this is going to give you a good starting point. Um, then I have the field restrictions on the fields that you can import. So essentially this will be, be your columns that you'll have on your import and you will ultimately have to look at every one of these. Those are important. Your currency is important for bank and credit card accounts and you might want to do it for specific accounts, but for the most part, they only relate to one account. Um, inventory, important if you want to use that account for inventory. Subsidiary, very important in cases where you have groups. In this case where I'm implementing here, I only have one subsidiary, so that's not going to be relevant for me. Include children means any of the child records, right? So. Um, those are important. There's a couple of other ones that you have to set manually, unfortunately, but this is going to, again, give you a very good start. These are all the um, system generated accounts for features. So when you look at the enable features workbook, these things are going to come in, right? So whenever you enable any of these features, that means these accounts will be auto um, generated. <coughs> Here is a list of the um, system accounts. Um, I will in a minute create a safe search where you will see these um, special account types. They do not show in the standard chart of accounts. So that's very important to understand that you have to do a safe search to see these. These are very important. You should not post manual journal to them. Um, you will then not balance back to your standard report. All right, so that is the five worksheets I have here, and I will now go start going through the process of mapping and creating my new chart of accounts. 